the KP mode is similar to the K31 mode. And that because of the radial shape, you know, it's going to be a disc type of shape of the material, uh, whose uh, diameter is two times the radius, and whose height is just h, and the polarization is in the thickness, the vibration occurs in a planar direction, meaning outward. And because the, it, 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 it uh, all expands uh, radially, uh, the material is sort of stiffer than it would be if you had a bar and you pulled on it. Or let's say you had a plate and you pulled on every part evenly, this would seem stiffer. Because there's a, the portion here is being pulled this way and it's also being pulled that way. So therefore, according to the <coughs> Young's modulus, or according to the, not the Young's modulus, according to the Poisson's ratio, which sometimes is written as V, sometimes written as sigma, um, the material will be stiffer. So it, it it's similar to the K31 mode in that uh, expansion is causing charges to develop on the surfaces, which is then, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the surface charge is controlled by the external voltage source. Therefore, you're going to get the resonance according to a SE, what we'll call this P, because I mentioned uh, the resonance the, co the, fr the resonance frequency according to the compliance is sort of stiffened due to the uh, Poisson's ratio but it still corresponds to a constant electric field or a controlled electric field environment for the compliance that corresponds to its resonance frequency.